Hi, everyone, welcome to my channel again. Today, I am going to share my sixth video of regression analysis, which is the adjusted R squared. Before watching, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Your support will encourage me to produce more videos related to statistic, Lean Six Sigma and operation management. Prior to explaining about adjusted R squared, we need to understand the meaning of R squared. What is R squared? R squared is also known as coefficient of determination. The coefficient of determination, R square measures the proportion of variability in Y, which can be explained by Y's relationship with X in the derived model. R squared is the regression sum of squares divided by the total sum of squares, or 1 minus error sum of squares divided by total sum of squares. The total variation in our response values can be broken down into two components, the variation explained by our model and the unexplained variation or noise. The total sum of squares, or SST, is a measure of the variation of each response value around the mean of the response. For each observation, this is the difference between the response value and the overall mean response. The regression sum of squares, or SSR, is a measure of the variation explained by our model. SSR is the difference between the predicted value and the overall mean response. The error sum of squares, or SSE, is a measure of the random error, or the unexplained variation. SSE is the difference between the response value and the predicted value. The total variation consists of two components, which are regression sum of squares and error sum of squares. Mathematically, SST equals SSR plus SSE. One of the drawbacks of R squared is it always increases when you add additional predictors to a model. It can be difficult to judge whether the increase is telling us anything useful about the new predictor. The R squared should be used with caution, since it is always possible to make R squared large by adding enough terms to the model. For example, the three predictor model will always have an R squared that is at least as high as the two predictor model. Instead of using R squared, adjusted R squared should be used to compare models with different numbers of independent variables. Adjusted R squared should be used while selecting important predictors or independent variables for the regression model. What is adjusted R squared? The adjusted R squared is a modified version of R squared that accounts for predictors that are not significant in a regression model. The adjusted R squared is a modified version of R squared that accounts for predictors that are not significant in a regression model. In other words, the adjusted R squared shows whether adding additional predictors improve a regression model or not. Let's take a look at an example. The pull strength of a wire bond is affected by die height, post height, loop height, wire length, bond width on the die and bond width on the post. From the analysis, the die height and post height increases the R squared but not the adjusted R squared. These results indicate that both predictor variables do not improve the model. When the third variable, loop height is added into the model. Both the R-squared and adjusted R-squared increase significantly. The R-squared increases from 15.70% to 56.28%, while adjusted R-squared increases from 5.16% to 47.53%. It indicates that loop height is a significant predictor in the regression model. When the fourth variable, wire length is added into the model, both the R-squared and adjusted R-squared increase as well. The R-squared increases from 56.28% to 67.62% while adjusted R-squared increases from 47.53% to 58.37%. It indicates that wire length is a significant predictor in the regression model. 
the last two variables, which are bond width on the die and bond width on the post, are added into the model. R squared continues to increase when you add additional predictors to a model. However, lower adjusted R squared indicates that the additional predictor variables are not adding value to the model. In summary, the adjusted R squared is a modified version of R squared that adjusts for predictors that are not significant in a regression model. Compared to a model with additional input variables, a lower adjusted R squared indicates that the additional input variables are not adding value to the model. A higher adjusted R squared indicates that the additional input variables are adding value to the model. There will be a series of videos for regression analysis. Remember to subscribe to my channel so that you will not miss out my next videos. Bye. See you next time.